Diesel is making his return on NBA 2K24, and I'm not gonna lie to you, this build is looking as devious as ever. We're sitting defenders onto the ground, we're fast enough to run down the court and get blocks, and you know we're still just dunking the ball down with ferocity. And like I said, today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the Shaquille O'Neal build. A lot of you guys have been asking for this, and to be honest with you, this year is probably the best it's ever been when it comes to dominating on the inside. So you can see my build's already a 92 overall, and we're a silver tier. I just played one day of this in the random wreck, and it was probably the easiest thing I've ever done. But I don't want to waste any of your guys' time. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and hop right into the build. All right, so for our build, we're going to be a center, of course. We're going to go with seven. Seven foot. I know Shaq technically 7'1", whatever, but we are also going to go 255 pounds just so we can have some speed. And you guys saw in the beginning, the speed is going to be crucial, especially in the rec center or anything like that, so you can get some chase down blocks. And we're going to have a 7 foot 9 wingspan. Now, the biggest thing when it comes to a Shaq build is definitely the finishing stats. So we want to make sure we are as accurate as possible, especially with how the game plays. So we're going to go with an 86 close shot to give us Hall of Fame pro touch. And we're going to get gold masher. For me, I'm kind of close to starter three. And with a 78 driving layup, you get the Sabonis layup package, which is one of the best ones in the game. You can like hit floaters from like the three point line. Our driving dunk is only going to go to a 75, which is going to allow you to get a lot of different dunk packages. The 73 driving dunk i do believe gives you bronze posterizer so we get that as well then of course a 92 standing dunk is going to allow us to get gold fast twitch we're gonna have gold rise up gold aerial wizard gold precision dunker and we're gonna get all the standing contact dunks and then with an 85 post control of course we're gonna be able to spin people out of the way we're gonna have gold postman technician you guys see the strength here in a second we're going to be able to just throw people out of the way very easily. And we get stuff like Drop Stepper, Post Fade Phenom, which I really haven't tried out too much yet. I don't know if you can hit Post Fades, but it'd be pretty sick if you could. Now I'm going to have a ton of different clips showing you guys standing dunks and stuff like that. You can see right here, we're just bullying people around, getting the little meter dunk with Slasher Take, which is extremely overpowered. But you can see here... We're not limited to just doing that. This is what I like about the build. We have close shot, we got hook specialist, and we got that pro touch, like I said, that become very beneficiary. You can see right here, turning the opposite shoulder, people jump at us, it doesn't matter. We get the ball the free throw line, doing post hooks with no take. That's what makes this build so overpowered. And when it comes to our shooting, we're not gonna do too much. We're just gonna leave it just like this. We're gonna kinda take our free throw up just a little bit, like a 57. Yeah, like I said, this is a Shaq build. We're gonna be missing some free throws. But again, like I said, I know a lot of you guys wanted me to make a traditional Shaq build and this is what it's going to be we're going to have no shooting so we have to dominate in the post now this is where it gets interesting like i said this is a big band build this is how i like to play we're only going with a 51 fast accuracy and i know a lot of you guys are going to be thrown off but you are going to be able to make passes up the court i know a lot of you guys are probably going to be playing with this build on the twos or maybe the rec center i've only played the rec center and i've made a good amount of passes of course i'm not making the hall of fame you know break starter pass but i can throw the ball up the court and still passes to people with like not much trouble at all and it doesn't really make a huge difference and i was playing with like a 25 pass accuracy and then we're just gonna leave our ball handle at a 35 and our speed with ball with nothing this is a big man build this is how we're gonna be playing and trust me i've been able to take the ball coast to coast with this build too i can go and just push the ball up the court with the push dribble animation and i have no trouble moving from one side to the other and then here comes our defense we're gonna have a 74 interior defense that's going to allow us to unlock that post move lockdown which is going to be okay we're only going to have it on bronze but it's better than nothing our perimeter defense is only going to go to a 41 and this is probably the biggest attribute you guys want to make sure you do on any of your bigs at least very bare minimum go with a 60 steal and i'll show you guys here why in a little bit our block is going to go to an 87 so we're going to be able to get that silver anchor which is going to be great and our rebounding here is going to be pretty balanced. This is the first time I've had like a well-balanced rebounding, it feels like. So we're going to have an 85 offensive rebound. And then we're going to go to an 84 defensive rebound. And you will have, I promise you, no troubles rebounding the basketball at all. Now, this is where I kind of wanted to show the most highlights. So on the defensive end, it didn't look the greatest. But I'm telling you guys, that 80 vertical and balanced defensive rebounding, I think it's worth having over just gold rebound chaser in general. Having good offensive rebound and defensive rebound, especially in the red center if you guys play that or if you play the twos i think it's really big you can see right here first play we ran up there got that defensive rebound then we go on the other end get the offensive rebound and able to just dunk it down with ease you can see the steal like i said the biggest thing having a 60 steal on your big man build i know a lot of you guys kind of just not look at steal sometimes definitely recommend having that you can see our speed right there being able to run down the floor after just playing hands up defense with that bronze or that silver anchor chase down blocks galore 
four since we have that speed too. You can see a little weak side help defense right there. Look at us just get up there. I'm telling you, that's another seven footer down in the paint. Look at us just rise up and are able to actually get that rebound. Cause like I said, we have that offensive rebound. You can see right there again, like, look at this. Like it's ridiculous. Like this, this does not look like Shaq and the defense is just so good. Putbacks and everything, just able to dominate in the paint. No matter if it's like offense or defense, we're just able to kind of just run full down there again. Like I said, the defense have been with the steals, the blocks, craziness, man. Look at all these lane steals that I'm able to get. It's so fun on this build offensive rebound kick it to the corner box out the seven foot three guy get another offensive rebound drop step him dunk on him like bro it's it's crazy like look at this dude on like three people in the paint and this is when i knew this build was crazy look at this steel animation like what is that and then like i said in the beginning this build's gonna be nice because we actually do have speed we're gonna have a 65 speed on this build so we're gonna be able to go from one side of the court to the other and not just kind of be a liability defensively and of course this is the biggest part in my opinion with this build we're gonna have a 96 strength shack build to unlock immovable enforcer on hall of fame we're gonna have bulldozer on hall of fame and we're just gonna be able to be a complete beast down below in the paint and then an 80 vertical right here like i said with the rebounding being really well balanced an 80 vertical is going to allow you to just jump out of the gym it's going to be really nice so we're going to be able to snag rebounds offensively and defensively with this vertical then we're going to go ahead and max out our stamina to a 97 to complete our build at a 99 and i know a lot of you guys are usually interested in this and this was actually kind of sick so you can see we have the comparisons of rudy gobert clint capella and heat shaquille o'neal and you can see our build name is an interior threat i know a lot of you guys are usually pretty curious on how i go ahead and upgrade these builds this is my build at a 92 overall you can see i've got the close shot i've got the standing dunk i've got some driving dunk as well then a free throw i kind of don't worry so much about like the you know mid-range or the pass accuracy or anything like that off the get-go we don't have to care about perimeter defense but you can kind of max out your block and your rebounding in your interior and then I, I would probably just go along with the strength along the way but you can see it's pretty already well balanced upgraded just at a 92 and like i said nothing much really going on here you can see with the stars is what i have as my dunk packages we've got the rim grazers we've got some tomahawks on but we mainly just have our rim pools and our elite and pro standing contact dunks which are pretty sick on this build and of course we've got the shack dunks on as well and i like daryl dawkins dunks that we had that on but the shack dunks this year are pretty solid too and you combine that with your driving dunk and your big man dunks you are going to be dunking everything the only other animations i can really think about showing you guys is i do use pro 2 and joel Embiid post hook like this is the only one i've used on my account all year long and for the badges i went ahead and floor set precision dunker just in case i do need it and i've got hook specialist on gold like i showed you guys and movable and four star on gold already and this pro touch on the hall of fame combined with hook specialist makes you extremely lethal and with just a day of playing the rec center i was able to max out pretty much all of these badges like it's really simple i would definitely recommend using this build if you play a lot of solo rec it gets the job done if you know what you're doing you can have a fully maxed out build i'd say probably in a few days let me know what you guys think about the build i'm gonna have a lot of gameplay with this soon so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel until next time it's been your boy dignified i'm out peace